a pendulum is released from rest when the cord makes an angle of 60 degrees. Sixty degrees. It makes sixty degrees with the vertical. The length of the cord is one meter. Find the speed of the pendulum when the cord makes an angle of thirty degrees with the vertical. So now it makes thirty degrees. It's here. Find the speed when it's here. We apply conservation of energy to this problem. We can, we can measure the height because I need the potential energy, so I need the height. We can measure the height from anywhere we want. We can measure it from here. We can measure it from here, or we can measure it from the bottom. It makes no difference. Let us measure it from the bottom, when it's here. Let's measure it from here. So to begin with, the object is released from rest. So here, V equals 0. So that's V1 is 0, or VI is 0. HI is this. In the final position, it has a V which is not zero, and its height is HF, final height. So I need to apply conservation of energy to this situation. So I have EI equals EF. EI is half m v i squared plus m g h i. And this is the final energy is half m v f squared plus m g h f. Now this is zero. So we have m g h i and I bring the m g h f here minus h f is half m v f square so the m cancels out and we're left with v f square is 2 g h i minus h f so all I need to, all we need is to determine h i minus h f. And that's why it doesn't matter where I take the reference, where I measure the height from. If I measure it from here, it's still just h i minus h f. It's simply this. This is h i minus h f. And this has nothing to do with where I, where I measure the heights from. So how do I determine this? I can just draw another figure. Sixty degrees. So let me first what is this length here? This is L one meter. And this is 60 degrees, and this is L cosine 60. 
cosine 60, of course, is half. So this is just L over 2. Now, when the object is at 30 degrees, now what is what is this now? Length. Now this is L cosine 30, because now it's 30 degrees. L cosine 30. So this is L cosine 30, this is L cosine 60. So what is the difference in height, HI minus HF? So this is 2G. So HI minus HF is L cosine 30 minus L cosine 60. So this is 2G L into cosine 30, which is square root of 3 over 2, minus cosine 60, which is 1 half. So it's G L into root 3 minus 1. G is 9.8, L is 1, and root 3 is 1.732 minus 1, so that's 0 0.732. So this is about 0. Point, so it's about 7.3, approximately. So Vf is a square root of 7.3, approximately. So Vf is approximately square root of 7.3, which is about 2.7 or so, 2.6, 2.7 meters per second. So this is the uh, speed of the object at this angle.